Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another raid Shadow Legend video. So we're going to do a guide today. We're going to do a guide on one of the free champions that you can get at day on page at day 240. So Drush the Mangler. For me, when I saw that the the extended um, login rewards were done and these three champions were were kind of put out there, this is the one I was most interested in. This is the one I feel like uh, is actually got a place in the game. So we're going to do a guide on him. Um, I've maxed him out. I've booked him out. We're going to get him running in a bunch of different dungeons. Then I'm going to try him in the arena and clan boss. So I do feel like you need to max him out. That's the one thing. So he does need books for me because A1, what, you know, what, what do we care about this guy? He brings a leech and a leech can replace lifesteal gear in your clan boss setup. And we're going to show that a bit later. Um, he brings this weird A2. Now, at first I thought this A2 was amazing. Like, attacks all enemies. Cool. Love it. 60% chance of placing the big version decrease attack. And you can actually book that up to 100% chance. But this is the word I don't like. Or. Or places decreased crit damage. Which is way worse. All right? It's, like, so much worse as a, as a debuff. So you kind of got one or the other, uh, and I know which one I would like. So I don't know about that ability. When I first read it, I actually thought it was you were placing both. It's or crit damage. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll test it out. But for me, that's a really weak um, either or. For me, that's just a really weak way of doing it. And he's got a third ability here, which is an AOE ability. Uh, again, so we've got two AOEs to do damage, which is nice. Uh, and you've got a chance to play, you've got a definite big heal, and then you've got a chance to place a second small heal if you crit. So, all of his kit I think is useful, right? For clan boss, I love the leech. For spider, I love the leech. Um, but for dungeon content and arena content, I don't like that this is uh, either or. For clan boss content, there's no point in this being either or. Uh, so, you kind of end up just doing damage with it. This pairs really well with Leech though. Continuous heal compared with the Leech ability will keep your team alive. So I like this. Um, I like the A1. I like the A3. I'm not too keen on the A2. So I've done my masteries as like a clan boss stroke dungeon setup. So straight down into Warmaster, single target A1. Um, and then I've gone for accuracy tree or support tree with accuracy. Uh, Law of Steel for the extra stats. And then I think Sniper is a really valuable stat, uh, steal on him to give you an extra 5% chance to land that leech on his A1. Um, and then Master Hexer to extend it if you get it. So I think this this is probably the preferred tree. Um, if you have got something like a Vizier, you would just go Defense Tree. Yeah, but if you don't, I'd recommend Support Tree. Um, the other thing to, to be aware of on his A1 is that he places the leech before he attacks, which I love. So he places leech, then he runs in and he hits. So he can actually give himself the life steal. That's pretty rare. I don't know if there's anyone else that does that, but that is a really cool part of his skill. So I have built him up to do damage, guys. I've got him in crit damage gloves with crit rate. I've pushed his crit rate up 84%, pretty high. 4.3k defense, it's, just, it's high. 230 crit damage, it's high, yeah. So he's in good gear. I want to see what he can do. 230 odd accuracy is about right for clan boss and for uh, dungeons. So that's all solid. Uh, I went crit damage gloves, defense chest, defense boots. Um, so he's in pretty end game gear, okay? But for most people, you would be going defense gloves, defense chest, speed boots, okay? Um, and you'd be going defense on the amulet instead of crit damage. Accuracy here, defense here. And then you'd just be looking for like defensive stats, speed stats, and accuracy to make sure he lands his stuff. But because you're getting him day 240, I'm thinking to myself, show you a build which is a bit more towards endgame because hopefully at day 240, you're coming up to the endgame. Yeah, and you're, you're starting to sort of experiment with strong builds. So, you know, you should be looking to yourself, can I get defense boots on my characters and still keep my speed up? Can I get a defense chest on? Can I get crit rate gloves on maybe? to get his crit up um so maybe not crit damage maybe i'll swap that out so i get 100 percent crit crit rate with speed and crit damage might be my better option here 
to make sure that I go over the 100. I'm well over it now, but you know this, this might be a more like a build that you would do. So we're going to go with that. Um, we're going to go into dungeons. I'll show you dragon first. Now, I'll show you 19. For 20, he's the wrong affinity, so he's not going to be helping you there. And the chances are by day 240, you're already on stage 20. So, um, you know, if you're already on stage 20, what's he hitting for there? 30 odd K? 20 to 30 K? It's not bad on his A2. Uh, and then 20 to 40 K on his A3. So both really strong. But chances are for Dragon, you're already on um, level 20 and he's not going to really bring you something new. Um, but for leveling up to Dragon, he's solid. So if you, if you pull him before day 240 on like a shard pull, then yeah, I think he can help you get there. Two AoE abilities, both of them hit hard. Both of them bring different utility as well, which is cool. And then for the actual boss, he's going to bring you that leech ability, which is going to enable you to heal when you're attacking the dragon. So we've got this silly champ here that's just going to block all the damage. I'll skip this part, get to the dragon. Okay, so here we go. He's put the decreased crit damage out there instead of decreased attack. It feels like that goes on a lot more than decreased attack. Throws his leech out there before he attacks. I really like that mechanic. I think that's a really cool uh, thing to do on him. And obviously, um, so we're going to need that leech to keep coming on for two turns. And he is. So any damage we're taking, we're not really taking damage here. But if we were, we'd be able to at least get those attacks out. Plus he's putting the continuous heals on us. So, you know, those two things together give you really, really good sustain. Um, all of his kit, I love all of his kit, apart from that A2 where it says all. If it was and, or you just forget the decreased crit damage, he is top notch as a rare, uh, as an epic. Top notch. Um, it does damage two AoE abilities, but because of that single word, or, written on his A2, it just brings him down a touch. Just brings his, his like pedigree down a touch. Um, but still good, I think. Still good. So done some work here. I'm interested to see what sort of damage he's done compared to everyone else. With two AoE abilities, it should be pretty good. 846 versus... So he's the second highest damage there. Higher than Frozen Banshee for the run. A little bit behind Kale, who's in good gear. So that is pretty solid. But as I say, you're not going to be running on stage 20 unless you're struggling for champs. Uh, let's try him out then on Spider. So for Spider... Spider for spider for spider, what are we going to do? So he could, he could actually be your tank, which is would be pretty good. Because he's got such a high defense. You keep his HP low. You could make him your tank if you've got already, you know, someone like a miscreated that could step in um, and do some work. Or, um, yeah, something along that lines. So if we were to go Cantra, let me just see if she's actually got gear on. I'll just gear people up and then we get into it. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, speed, decrease defense, decrease attack and crit and heals, um, and a leech ability. Canter in there for a tank, and then we've got drop turn meter here. So let's try it out um, and see what he can do. So I'm thinking to myself here, is he capable of you know, supporting someone like a tank enough to bring healing? So Cantra as a tank, obviously the more debuffs you've got out there, the more she heals, which is great. So early on in the fight, it works really great. When you have to recycle those abilities, though, it's a bit more difficult. He does a lot of work in terms of damage here. I've got him in quite a high damage build, but he's hitting hard, actually. And she's healing up nicely, so that's good. That's working well so far. Obviously, once he gets his leech out, everybody here, so everybody now is healing off of the spider, which is pretty cool i mean it's everyone's going to be attacking that that main spider so everyone's going to get the benefit of that leech so you see there she gets her heels coming back very nice um which just gives your tank a little bit more chance to stay in the game you don't need your life still gear on the tank um because he's putting it out there so very cool uh, i think for spider he's actually really good i think for spider his kit works really well He's got the continuous heals to keep your tank alive. He's got the um, the AOE kind of drop crit rate, uh, sorry, crit damage or drop attack, uh, which works nicely. So all of those things together 
just help keep your tank alive and he's got the leech so yeah nothing about his kit for me is weak on spider he's almost like if you don't have miscreated monster as your your kind of sustain then he is up there as one of the next better champions to kind of help your team stay alive obviously nothing of the level of miscreating monster before i get a million comments saying what you want about um but i just think yeah he's he's got some kit on him that's going to help you keep people alive so this spider might just about reset unless we've got a heart seeker we have there perfect okay so not a bad run um but definitely a bad item uh, but yeah, not a bad run. He's ended up doing 3.1 million damage. Like, he does damage, guys. I don't know if I've got good gear here, but he does damage, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, Fire Knights is just not his place. He might help you get through the waves with damage. That's it. It's not going to be his place. Ice Golems. I guess the Leech will help you trying to stay alive. Decrease attack. Bit of healing. He could be useful on Ice Golems. I think... Um, in terms of affinity, again, he's neutral. So he could come in and do a job um, as like a support champ. Certainly will, will help you get through the waves with damage uh, if you build him in a strong way. But if you can't build him in a strong way, definitely feels so like, guys. It says Eva Raw for that decrease attack, decrease crit damage. It feels like 80% decrease crit damage. 20% decrease attack, which is a bit weird. So it'll help you get through the waves a bit. Um, not massively for this second wave, though. Feels like my rotus here is not geared. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe he is. Yeah, so, I mean, he's just killed himself there with his AoE. Yeah, it's a bit of a weakness, I guess. So, unless you can pick him back up, um, watch out for that second AoE. Yeah, and on the boss, he could have placed Leech here, which would have been okay. But I don't think it's it's necessarily, like, his best spot. It's not a bad spot for him, but it's not his best spot. Uh, and you need to kind of work out the, the team comps a bit better than I've done there. Um, I've probably got half my champs not wearing gear as well, so I've been messing around with people. So that's the dungeons then. I think Spider's his best spot out of all the dungeons. Um, he will be probably straight into your faction or team without a doubt. So that's that's like a given. Um, and let's just see as clan boss reset. Now we've got a little bit of time on clan boss. So I think what we'll do, we'll throw him in the arena. Just try him out in a couple of fights. Um, one thing to be aware of is his damage scales on defense. So if you've got Sifi, if you are one of the few, like I am now, his damage will scale massively higher with a Sifi in the team. If you've got Morsi and Mage, he does the same type of job. He will scale with damage as well. So let's see what sort of damage we're hitting for with that build that I've shown you. I've not done him for like an all-out damage build. Um, if I did, I think we'd be seeing like a, a normal kind of Nuka style level of damage, like 60-odd K damage. So he's not tuned to go in between. Don't don't kill us, don't kill us. Let's just stop you having a turn, please. Here we go. So A2, what we're going to do with the A2? A couple of people for weak hits here. So let's look at the, the ones that avoid in terms of my damage. What we got here? 20 to 30k. That's pretty good. Um, Pretty good. Not bonkers, but pretty good. Let's just stop you having a turn again. Oh, Seafy. <laughs> behave, Seafy. Behave. Um, bump his, his defense up again. Let's see what his A3 does then. So there's no decreased defense on them, but... Ooh, 26k with no decreased defense. It's a hard hit, guys. He can definitely be built... To nuke. I'd imagine full nuke build of like Savage Gear and all, all the shenanigans going on. He'll be hitting for a good 60k up. Easily. He'll be hitting for 60k up if you built him out and out damage nuker. Uh, if you're pairing him with someone with increased defense. So, 
you know, he scales as well as a lot of the attack-based epic de uh, damage dealers, which is cool. Um, but I think for 90% for of people that use him, his best place is clan boss. So we're going to get a clan boss team set up now and we'll try him out there. Okay, guys, time to check out some clan boss action. Let's start on Nightmare. Um, see if I've got some goodies. No. Come on. No. Uh, right, let's start Nightmare then. So we're going to run not my unkillable comp. We're going to go for Bad Boy Leech. Um, no one in this comp I'm going to run has got any lifesteal gear. So we're going to go fast. We're going to go for um, perhaps an ally attack in Catacombs. So I'm going to go no counter attack. I'm going to go just epics and see how we get on. Uh, where are you, Catacomb? Catacomb here. Go to Jareg for decrease attack. And then we're going to go a cult brawler for some poison. So I've got no decreased defense in this lineup. Because I've got an ally attack, I position it so that Jareg goes as decreased attack before leech, before poison. I don't want poison to override potentially us staying alive. I've just gone for fast high cartoon, um, good amount of accuracy for my decreased attack and high defense. Everyone's got high defense. Um, I've not changed the build here on Grush. And let's see if we can keep ourselves alive with no life steal gear on. I'm still running at full auto, guys. I'm not. I was not like speed tuned for like some crazy damage comp. I just want to see what he can do. So he prioritizes a three th uh, first, which gives us the heals going. I guess he's then going to do his a two and get the decreased crit damage out. I do wonder if decreased attacks all already there. Does he always do crit damage? I hope he does. Um, didn't land Leech that time, so we've got 80% chance to put Leech out there. We didn't land it there. We didn't even try to. It wasn't resisted, he just didn't try. And again, didn't try to. It's interesting. wonder why that is. Just bad luck. Placed it there. So there you go. So we've got a three turn Leech on now. Um, High Cartoon's always going to take the stun. I've not got any sort of stun balancing going on here. Let's hope that Jared gets involved and gets his decreased attack out. Yeah, cool. So we're going to run this through. Um, I'm going to bring it back in probably around turn 20 to 25. See what sort of damage I'm taking and see how long we can sustain for. Okay, so we're coming into turn 20. Um, I've realized that I do not have Warmaster on my high cartoon. And Warmaster is a big part of where the healing comes from in Leech. So it's pretty dangerous. Um, so far at turn 19, we're staying alive. Um, and we're kind of keeping ourselves in the in the fight. High Cartoon's going to be the problem here. She's going to go down way before anyone else just because of the way I've got it set up. But you'll see anyone who does like a, a Warmaster proc or a Giant Slayer proc will heal to full with Leech on. Um, and anyone who doesn't and is getting crits out there will still heal a pretty decent amount. Um, so we're, we're kind of coming up to, what, 14 million with no... Um, no counter-attack. That's pretty good on Nightmare. And, you know, with the, the kind of setup we've got going, with an ally protection coming on from Jareg, uh, we've got decrease attack staying on there, leech staying on there, poison bars staying pretty full. I would expect this to be, if certainly if Hyker Tomb was, was, in, um, was, was running with Warmaster, this would be a pretty solid 2-key. As it is, we might just scrape around like a 2-key. So yeah, so you can see we came in 17.8 just after I, I skipped that part. Dogs went crazy. Um, High Cartoon went down and she done no damage. So if she was running Warmaster, she'd be at like a couple of mil. Easy 2 key setup. So as long as you've got Warmaster running on all your champs, Leech is enough to sustain. Um, and, you know, con considering the, the lineup we're using here, the fact that I've not speed tuned anyone, um, I think Grush is really like top notch clan boss champ. I think he's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, for me, it's definitely his best place. But Spider and Clan Boss feel like the places to use him. He can do damage in the arena. I think, actually, good addition to the game. Well worth leveling up. Um, like, mid to, to, to high tier epic in my books. So, um, I guess with the... With the kind of popularity of unkillable teams at the moment, he's going to be less utilized. He's not really needed in an, un or he's not used, needed at all in an unkillable team. But if you're running a standard clan boss comp, 
I think Grush can get into a ton of teams and Leech is still really relevant in the meta. So guys, hope you enjoyed the guide. Uh, Grush for me, definitely worth some, some time, some investment. He does need books to be useful, um, so bear that in mind. But yeah, I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you soon.